and now at its output, we're, we're being able to choose what was only given to us, the information, albeit whatever. Um, hmm. Now, suppose right now, I'm not sure if, this is where my thought was going, I'm not sure if it has complete relevance to everything I just built up with it, but uh, I was, I kind of went off on this abstraction that uh, if we could, in psychology there's uh, a sort of hype or a concept that's really explosive in, in that arena that is self-deception. And that's where you can, the human mind could, there's been studies to show that it could get itself to think anything, to believe anything actually, I should say, um, by thinking of it, of course. And um, so if I say right now, if I were to be thinking that my arm right here was in tremendous pain, uh, well, it's conceivable, and it, the study would follow that, yes, that uh, I would be experiencing pain right in this area that I'm thinking and thinking over about, and eventually to the point where I'm self-deceiving myself into believing it. Now, what I was wondering is if that also has an effect on determinate laws. It, it must have, I mean, an uh, effect on physical laws. And I'm saying that, I'm thinking that it must, uh, well, given, let's say, the assumption that this whole world uh, is, has contained in it physical elements, and these are the things we study in science, the physics, the small little things, and so that let's not, not, let, let's not to be taking any side of material over immaterialism or anything, but the mind or the physical neurons uh, in my head are um, somehow relating towards this area of my arm and uh, making that pain sensation react. But while this pain sensation react re is reacting, there's no reason for just to react because I'm conceiving of it. That, that couldn't happen because there has to be some physical relation to this area. So I would imagine that around this part there is some uh, physical processes happening that are making it um, they're just causing it to uh, yeah, react, I suppose. Uh, so basically, if you were to self-deceive yourself into uh, imagining one thing happening, and you get yourself to believe it, that there is, there must be, from that self-deception of the mental reality that you experience, there has to be some relation to that and the physical um, particles, the physical material of wherever that was to be conceived, um, wherever that that belief um, was targeted, I suppose. You see, but that wouldn't make sense for all things, but that would make sense certainly for cl claims and assertions, or I mean, excuse me, but beliefs that contained ideas of uh, affecting yourself. So if I were to make some random assertion that the sky is red and all of a sudden you got yourself to believe it, does that mean that the sky is really red? I don't know about if one person is that special to change the color of the sky, just as Moses was to change the red. Uh, the water into blood. Uh, I, I'm on a weed. That was a that was a weird joke, or I'm not even sure if it was. Anyway, but um, that we can change uh, physical laws with the mental, or at least the physically neural synaptic mental. Uh, it's quite interesting. I think I forgot where I was going with this. That sucks. Yeah, self-deception is uh, it's interesting. But if we did live in a, a deterministic world, then, wow, self-deception, I mean, are we really choosing to self-deceive ourselves? Like... If all of a sudden a determinate law had it that I was to think or get myself into a mode of self-deceiving myself to believe that my arm was cut off, that have, oh okay now I now I remember where I was coming back with this. So I was I was saying a second ago, wow, now I'm back. Uh, that the um, that the uh, that the, the 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 mind could only work in relation to physical properties, physical material, if it's contained within the self, not the external like concepts that we just spoke about that were silly, like uh, me changing the sky to being red or something like that. So perhaps the mind only affects the self 
We would have to ex expect the external also because, or at least in part, because you as a person, the self, is uh, also a compiler. It's a compilation of physical things, constituents, material, atoms and whatnot, but so is the environment around you. So the external in some parlance is you also, but just in a very configured portion with connection to the, the mental. So I suppose it would affect the self and maybe a bit of the external um, whenever this relation occurs. Uh, between self, uh, being able to self-deceive yourself. All right, well, I've said enough right now that I think this is bite-sizable, in fact, probably a little bit more, probably an obese portion, but um, I'm getting pretty stoned, and I think I'm going to start making sense, or maybe I already have, so thanks a lot, and uh, yeah, it might be like a couple-part video. Peace.